Hey folks, this is Chris with The Collectibles and we are back with another box break. Uh, this time we've got some WWE Ultimate Rivals uh, trading cards from Topps. Uh, this is a hobby box. Uh, the Ultimate Rivals uh, is a wrestling set that uh, doesn't feature individual uh, folks. It actually has uh, wrestlers that were pitted against one another in feuds, uh, some short feuds, some long running feuds. Uh, but the beauty of this is you can actually, it's kind of feast or famine with these, you either get one autograph or one event used card per box. Some of the event used cards are good, some not so much. Uh, just like the autographs, there are uh, potentials to pull a Edge or a CM Punk autograph, um, among others. So I think there's usually either the, the one major hit per, per box and then there's some motion cards. Uh, so we'll open this up, see what we get. Uh, there's going to be a ton of base. I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. So if we move quickly through some of the packs, that's the reason why. 24, 24 goodness gracious, packs per box. Seven pack cards per pack. And we'll start with this stack right here. If you haven't seen these before, I think these were produced in like uh, 2008 if I'm not mistaken so the cards look like this so you would have Matt Hardy uh, versus Edge there's actually a little bit of a game uh, to this uh, based on some of the color bars here we're not going to get into those specifics because we're after the cards um, so we'll move through this there are a ton of John Cena Stone Cold Steve Austin CM Punk uh, as well as some of the classics. Uh, so we two packs in, we've got two uh, Edge cards, two John Cena cards. There's a CM Punk. And of course, Diva cards from Diva Rivals. I believe the Magic Motion should fall about uh, four per box, three to four. So, like I said, there's going to be ton of, a ton of base cards. It's a 90 card set, so probably at least one full set out of every box uh, and the beauty with these are they're actually pretty affordable uh, when you locate them online or in a store not going to set you back a whole lot oh, lots of undertaker cards in here too as well I forgot about that Stone Cold and the boss, Vince McMahon. Okay, so here's our first uh, Magic Motion card. Don't know how well that will show up on camera, uh, but it is Undertaker going old school on MVP. And if you don't know who MVP is, I think he's uh, in the TNA promotion right now. brief recap in the back end of the video all right so that's half the box and we'll start over here it's our other magic motion uh, it features Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy
which you see with uh, this small of a set, this many packs, this many cards, you're going to get uh, some doubles and possibly triples of a few. No Rock, no Hogan, uh, because those gents were not under contract with WWE at the time, so you didn't get uh, any of those rivalries featured on these cards. All right, we're down to four packs. If there is a payoff, it better happen soon. Our next Magic Motion. Uh, looks like we've got... Oh, goodness. I don't know if that's... See him punk on the ground or not? I see tattoos. Uh, and then Chavo Guerrero going off the top rope. All right, here is a ringside relic of Mr. Kennedy. So there's our hit for the box. So we just got a, a event worn shirt. Uh, Guy had the potential to go decently far. Had a few scrapes with uh, some inner office politics and some uh, substance testing, and quickly went to TNA after that. And our last two packs. All right, so. Uh, as I suspect, we probably do have a full set here. Uh, but to recap, we did get three Magic Motion cards. We got The Undertaker, uh, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, uh, the Chavo Guerrero, and the Mr. Kennedy uh, T-shirt relic card. Uh, no autographs, but uh, autographs are a plenty in this product. So uh, if you are interested in this product, know that uh, there is a tremendous upside. We didn't see it today, uh, but it is a good... Uh, bang for your buck, if you ask me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. Bye.